Hi everybody. I am inviting you into my kitchen to show you how I make, the real Italians make, broccoli rob. This is my broccoli rob. I washed it all, this was all in the colander. Sprayed it all down. This part is already cleaned. So I'm gonna show you from the colander, the ones that aren't cleaned. This is what it looks like. You cut the bottom off and you peel as much of the skin that naturally comes off so that it's not tough, so that it gets tender. And then you put a little slice in the bottom like that. So I peeled some of the outer skin just a little bit off that came off naturally and sliced it. So this is now it's going into my clean bowl. Here's I'll do one more with you. So here's what it looks like. Cutting this and I'm slicing this back. I'm gonna go around it, slice it back, and then I'm going to slice it down the middle. I have my water at a rapid boil. I'm going to toss it in there for about 20 seconds and pull it out. That's the trick of broccoli, Rob. Do not overboil it or else it gets not good. You want 20 seconds in the water and out. Okay. Okay, guys, watch how fast I put it into the rapid boiling water. As I'm not prepared, I get this, putting it, pushing it all down. So, you can really screw broccoli raba if you don't cook it the right way. That's why I very rarely order it in a restaurant. It's mostly in when my family makes it or if I'm going to a restaurant that I know they know how to make broccoli raba. Okay, so it's in here now. It's going to be about 30 seconds. I'm going to take it out and put it back into here. Meanwhile, I have my garlic chopped. And I'm going to prepare a pan with some extra virgin olive oil. Taking it out, it was in here for about 40 seconds. Now, if you want, you could put pasta, so add some salt to this water, let it come to a boil again, cook some pastas and mix pastas with it. When it's all done, we still have to saute it in the extra virgin olive oil and garlic with a little bit of salt. So broccoli rob is now cooked. That was about 40 seconds in the boiling water. Get it out. If you don't, it becomes too mushy and then you don't want to eat it. Olive oil is getting hot. Okay, oil is hot. I'm gonna toss the garlic in. At the same time, the broccoli rob's getting tossed in. We're gonna add just salt. Don't need anything else. Cooking some linguine. I'm gonna make linguine alle olia and mix it in with this. But I'm gonna take some of it and put it aside because we also like omelets, broccoli rabe in our omelets. So at all week I could take some and chop it up and put it, saute it with the eggs. And that's broccoli rob, guys. You're better off underboiling it than overboiling because it'll cook some more in your oil. Do not overboil your broccoli rob. You will ruin it. You won't even get the 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 love of broccoli rob if you don't cook it right. This is broccoli rob. That's how it's supposed to look. Very easy. The hardest, the, the not the hardest, the most time consuming is the cleaning. And cooking my pasta al dente and when it's done I'm gonna save some of the water I cooked the pasta in the water the broccoli rob boiled in save some of the water toss it in there and it's a meal bon appetit I added some fresh grated parmesan reggiano cheese and I did add a little crushed red pepper